Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How That Ale. Tonight we are going for a supermarket showdown. It's Brewdog and Friends versus Brewdog and Friends. What do I mean? Well, it's these two beers. It's the New England IPA versus Model Citizen. And they're both collaboration brews. The New England IPA was brewed in collaboration with Cloudwater and the Model Citizen with Salt. Uh, they're both 6.8% ABV New England IPAs. And they are quite similar in the style, obviously. Well, they're exactly the same in the style. But your flavours are quite similar-ish, shall we say. So the New England IPA, it suggests tropical fruit on the nose with notes of soft, juicy peach, melon, lime, and subtle caramelised pineapple. Whereas a model citizen uh, suggests soft, juicy mango, peach, and grapefruit uh, to expect. Now, I enjoyed them both. Um, maybe not quite so much nowadays, what with the controversy with uh, Brewdog, but I enjoyed them both in the past before the latest round of chaos and mayhem ensued. And I just wanted to compare the two side by side to see which one I actually prefer. Now, if I go back to my aid memoir from Untapped, we will see a difference on my scores from before, but the uh, the New England IPA, the OG of these two, uh, I scored using my old system, um, whereas the, uh, the Model Citizen was using my new and updated scoring. Um, but just to compare the two side by side, the, uh, the Brood, Brewdog and Cloudwater New England IPA is 362 thousand check-ins with an average of 3.98 i gave it a five out of five uh, but that was basically without any kind of true metrics on it the uh, the model citizen 10,100 check-ins with an average of 3.76 not quite so well received but my score was 4.75 and that was being critical down to the quarter point on every of one of the five aspects of scoring which as i say are the looks the aroma the body the taste and the finish and this contest they judged on each category and the winner of each section gets one point and whoever gets the most points wins. So without further ado, we're going to start pouring. Now we're going to pour the New England IPA with cloud water into my cloud water glass. So I've only got one brew dog glass. I'm going to pour the other one into the brew dog glass. So the OG of the two, the New England IPA with cloud water pours. Pale, hazy. A nice juicy colour, looks good. See if we can get a bit of a head, not masses. That'll do nicely. It's a good looking beer, that. It's a lovely colour, you've got nice deep haze on that. It's golden orange, haze for days. It's not quite chicken soup, I can still see my hands through it. And you've got a solid two fingers tight white head. It should be in a glass. So that's the New England IPA with cloud water. The model Citizen is going to go into Brewdog glass. Now I know the different styles of glass, but we do what we can do. So the pour on this one is again it's hazy. Maybe not quite so hazy. I don't know. Let's get them side by side in a second. Let's see what we get. So, okay. Appearance-wise, it's not masses in it, you know, similar levels of haze. The collaboration with salt is clearly a little darker. Uh, more colour to it. Head is similar. I'd say the cloud water collaboration is ever so slightly tighter. But which one do I prefer the look of? I always tend to err on the side of colour. I'll be honest, I prefer the slightly darker one. So the uh, the point on the looks goes to the model citizen. And we're going to have to put that on my scoreboard of joy right now, which is currently empty. So it's 1 0. To the model citizen. The next test is the aroma. So we're going to start with the New England IPA from Brewdog and Cloudwater. Yeah, it's lovely that is. It's it's peachy, it's pineapple, it's mango-y, there's a little bit of zest coming through. It, it's great, it smells delicious. It does promise uh, the lime, yeah that's, that's where the zesting is. I'm not getting the melon but mostly the peach, pineapple and lime. Yeah, those are your dominant flavors and mango. So that smells really, really good. As for the Model Citizen, let's have a whiff of that one. It's nice, but it's not as strong. Let's have a... Yeah, th there's pineapple. There is, there is a warm kind of citrus to it. 
but it's just nowhere near as strong as the New England IPA in collaboration with Cloudwater. So the point on this one goes to the New England IPA. And we come to the body test. So on a New England, they've obviously got to be heavy enough, juicy, chewy, and full. As for this one, it is. Medium, well carbonated, quite excitable in the mouth. And uh, yeah, nice. The Model Citizen. Mm. Slightly softer in the mouth. The carbonation isn't quite as aggressive. It's slightly heavier, slightly smoother. The point goes to the Model Citizen. So that's two one so far. And the taste is the most important one. Um, so, the Cloudwater collaboration is. Slightly bitter, slightly underripe pineapple, mango. All the stone fruits are slightly underripe and sharp. A little bit dry. And ah, there comes the melon on the back end. There it does. nice it is nice i am not getting caramelized pineapple i'm not that's a shame because it, it, there, there used to be a big pineapple hit on it and that was nice that is a lot sharper and a little bit more tart than i remember as for the model citizen It's smoother, it's creamier, it's not so sharp. It's more what I expect from a New England. It's a little bit juicier, smoother. I'm getting stone fruit. I'm getting hints of mango and pineapple. It's not as strong a flavour as a New England IPA, but it's more balanced. The malts are there. They come through. It's it's well thought out. It is nice. It's go back to the uh, cloud water collab. Yeah, it's not as resinous as the cloud water. Now I love pine resin as a flavour. I love the big brutal hops. The New England IPA from the Salt Collaboration is smoother. Whereas New England from Brewdog and Cloudwater is a little bit more punchy. It really depends on what day you get me on as which I'm going to prefer. I love them both. <sighs> I'm, I'm torn here because I... The Model Citizen is closer, in my opinion, to a true New England. It's smoother. It's more juicy. But the punchiness of the hops, the slightly sharp tang of the Nipah is drawing me over. I'm going to sit on the fence for that one for a minute because it's close. It's very close. So we're going to go for the finish. Now, this is normally the end of the scoring and it would determine the winner. But because it's so close on the taste test, we're going to come back to that. So we're going to start with the finish of the New England IPA from the Cloudwater Collaboration. Now in New England, I expect to be hoppy, juicy, sweet, and long. This one, it's hoppy, it's very hoppy. It's juicy, but it's underripe juice, and therefore it's got a little bit more bitterness on the back end now. I love bitterness in a beer. And this one, it's kind of fair to middling on the bitterness. New England, you don't expect to be massively bitter, but, there we are. Whereas the Model Citizen, it's got a super smooth delivery of the flavour straight up. And it's a sweeter, juicier, all round, more balanced finish. You know, it's it's a safer 
tasting beer. Mmm. I've got to be honest, the Model Citizen is more authentic. It gets the point. Which means that the, uh, the collaboration with Cloudwater cannot win. But we're going to go back to the taste test and... Do I prefer bitterness and sharpness versus smooth, juicy delivery? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give the point today to the model citizen because it's it's more more in keeping, shall we say, which means the model citizen wins 4-1 over the New England IPA, which I must admit I did not expect. Um, now, this could be a batch difference because um, I remember the Nipah from the Brewdog and Cloudwater collaboration being a lot smoother, not quite as tart as it is now. Um, obviously, things have changed over the years and it might well have changed recipe. Brewdog are famous for that and it pisses me off um, because they generally change what is normally quite a good beer and dilute it down potentially in the name of profit, um, which is bad. It's not the ethos that craft beer was uh, kind of bought around for. It's brought around for quality and care and uh, not profit and uh, yeah that's a shame if that is the case however in this instance model citizen would get my money it gets the points and it would get my money if I was to buy these two again anytime soon so yeah model citizen is a great New England IPA it's a classic formula and the authentic recipe and the authentic taste you know it delivers on all of them whereas the don't get me wrong the Cloudwater collaboration, the New England IPA, the OG of these two, is a decent beer. It's just not quite as good as a model citizen. So, we're at the point in the video where I'm dangerously waffling. So we're at 12 minutes now. Uh, so I'm going to say, those have been the beers. I've been Nick. Down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. And I will see you again soon for another one.